Hey guys, Greg here, Bone Tactical. Today we're gonna to discuss modifying door panels to accept speakers, aftermarket speakers, aftermarket audio system, and then also upholstery work. Something that a lot of you guys are probably afraid of, a little scary, but can be awesome. And now you'll see why.
what we've got going on here is aftermarket six by nine. It's big, it's bad, it's beautiful, and it is a full-size six by nine speaker. Now, again, this might be something that scares you guys. We've reupholstered with this awesome Cordura fabric, the same fabric we used on the seats. You guys already saw the seat video, so you probably are aware of the fabric we used on the seats. But it's the same fabric. Everything's color matched. Everything's matched. It's a multicam black, just something that kind of matched the theme of the build for me. So what we've got going on here is just the beautiful lines all of the same original lines we we kept we put we had to pull this off and reupholster it kind of double everything cut the holes make sure everything was right the original components are what we used here and here but this speaker was an added component so the you guys that are going to be wanting to pay attention to this or people anybody who maybe has an older vehicle or either has a pickup truck, 4x4 four, four four off-road vehicle, Jeep guys are gonna wanna know this information, any, any kind of older vehicle that you wanna upgrade the system on, or any kind of vehicle whatsoever that you just want better audio out of. So one great thing is these little cup things here, and they're just literally just plastic cups that you order offline. They're pre-molded, they're like a thermoplastic, and then you have to cut out the actual circle here to fit your particular speaker so we went with the six by nine in the front here i use deck screws to attach it first this gets attached then this gets attached the first thing i do after, before everything is pull this off figure out where i want to line it up i need to make sure that the window will still go up and down i want to make sure that the screws that i'm putting in are not going to hit any kind of wiring or anything structural i do need to make sure the screws i'm putting in are going into something metal Okay, but it's not going into the motor for the window or any of the actual components that it's gonna ruin. So if you can't drill it, because this is very strong, it's, this is a four by four truck, I'm making this thing built to last. So if you can't drill, there's screws behind here and then there's screws on top. So there's a bunch of big heavy deck screws holding this thing in. If you can't drill into the actual metal support structure, then what you need to do is build like metal uh, excuse me, wooden, make little wooden pieces or use some kind of metal clips with a backing that'll actually hold pressure, okay? So you do wanna make sure that this is pressure. And then another little tip is to reuse the same actual wiring harness. So you gotta pull everything apart. The, the hardest part of this job is just taking your time and doing all the prep work. You can see here, we use the original wiring harness we removed all the tape. We used the same kind of original tape that Toyota uses to go through, pull all the tape off, re-put all the tape. It's just, it's a crap ton of work, but if you do it right, it's worth it. So now what we've got is a stronger door panel, a, a material that will last longer, better audio system. One of the reasons that I decided to upgrade this audio system in the Land Cruiser is because the only speakers that it comes with are these little tiny tin can speakers there, and it just sounds terrible. So. That's, uh, that's kind of part of the audio system. We did the back door as well. There's more room on the front door, so I used a six by nine on the front door and then went with a six inch speaker on the back door. These are great for boats. They're great for four by four rigs. They're great for just about anything. So uh, they're tough, they're durable. I've still got plenty of leg room in there and just really looks cool, sounds great. And that's kind of the, the gist of it, guys. I would definitely recommend not being scared Make sure that you, if you don't know how to do the, the upholstery work yourself, take it to somebody who can do a good job, but it's not, it's not rocket science, guys. It can be done and it can be an upgrade. It's a great upgrade for the vehicle. If you guys are Overland Expedition guys, if you guys are off-road rig guys, the specifically Overland Expedition, any kind of like long trip, road trip, people that like adventures, it's such a benefit and such a mental health plus if you have the opportunity to listen to good music. So I definitely recommend upgrading your, your audio system. I will give you a full rundown on the full audio system. It's incredibly complicated that we've got going here and I'm still kind of putting some finishing touches on it. It's fully working and great right now, but uh, just doing some tweaks and stuff like that. So do have, we've got uh, two amplifiers, one amplifier for the lows, another amplifier for the mids and highs, but basically thinking about upgrading the head unit, stuff like that. 
Uh, we'll definitely do some videos in the future on more of that stuff, but don't be afraid to upgrade your door panels, guys. Don't be afraid to drill into them because it can come out great. Questions and comments below. If you agree with me that this is a beautiful modification to this Land Cruiser, let me know. If you think I ruined this original Toyota, also let me know. Thanks for watching. Bone out.